1972 to 1975 Bangladesh insurgency refers to the period after the independence of Bangladesh when left-wing insurgents particularly the Ganabahini fought against the government of Sheikh Mujibur Rahman the government responded by forming the Jatiya Raki Bahini which began a crackdown on the general populace the force became involved in numerous charges of human rights abuse including political killings shooting by death squads forced disappearances and rape Topic. Background In 1972, Jaishayo Samajtantrik Dal was formed when it split from Bangladesh Chhatra League, the student wing of the Bangladesh Awami League, under the leadership of Sirajul Alam Khan, M. A. Jalil, A. S. M. Abdur Rab and Shahjanan Siraj. Its armed wing, Ganabahini, led by Colonel Abu Tahir and Hassanul Haq Inu, began an armed campaign against the government of Sheikh Mujibur Rahman in order to establish scientific socialism and a Marxist state. <laughs> Political killings Anthony Mascarenhas states that by the end of 1973, the number of politically motivated murders in Bangladesh after independence was over 2,000. The victims included some members of parliament and many of the murders were resulted of intra-party conflicts within the Awami League. The Ganabahini also killed numerous Bangladesh Chhatra League and Awami League members. On the other hand, Maoists such as Siraj Sikdar of the Purba Banglar Sarbahara Party and Abdul Haq began attacking the government and people whom they considered class enemies. The government responded by forming the Jatiya Raki Bahini. Anthony Mascarenhas claimed that within three years, deaths of mostly Jaishayo Samajtantrik Dal members reached 30,000, all of which were killed by the Jatiya Raki Bahini. <inaudible> End of insurgency After being freed by Abu Tahir and the Ganabahini, Zayur Rahman realized that the disorder set off by the soldiers' mutiny had to be suppressed firmly if discipline was to be restored in the army. Zayur Rahman declared martial law, cracked down on the Jaishayo Samajtantrik Dal, Abu Tahir was sentenced to death and other party figures had various terms of imprisonment slapped on them. <laughs> <laughs> Legacy Human Rights Watch states that institutionalized violence committed by the Jatiya Raki Bahini during the insurgency, established the culture of impunity and widespread prevalence of abuses by security forces in independent Bangladesh. References <references>